This is question one of paper two, November 2020. A mathematics teacher was curious to establish if a learner's mathematics marks influence their physical science marks. In the table below, the mathematics and physical sciences marks of 15 learners in the class are given as percentages. So here we have maths and physical sciences. And we were also given a scatter plot. The first question says, determine the equation of the least squares regression line for the data. Let me run you through the steps on how to set up your calculator to set up the least square regression line. First, you want to clear your calculator. So we press Shift, 9, and we clear all, and we follow the prompts. Then we want to put our calculator in statistics mode. So mode, 2 for stat, and now we select the second option which looks like the equation of a line. So that is two. Now we enter the X and Y values. We will take the mathematic results as X and the physical sciences as Y. Now that I've entered all the information, I press AC and the calculator would clear. Now I want to draw up the equation of the regression line. So it's shift one and I choose option five for regression. And then the A value is the first option. So A is 9.5. Then I need the B value so I press AC then shift one regression again and I choose the B value, which is 2, which is option 2. So B is 0 0.91. And the equation of a regression line is Y is equals to A plus BX. Therefore, the equation of the regression line is Y is equals to 9.5 plus 0.91x. The next question says, draw the least square regression line on the scatter plot provided in the answer book. So when we draw the least square regression line, we need to find its intercept with the y-axis, and that is where x is equals to 0, and that intercept is 9.5. And I will indicate the nine and a half. Next, I want to find a point of reference. So I would, for example, substitute x with 40. So it will be 9.5 plus 0 0.91 times 40, which is equal to 45.9. And we can make that 46. So where x is 40, I'll have a reference point at 46. And now because I have two reference points, I can draw the straight line. And it is good practice to name the line. The next question reads, predict the physical sciences mark of a learner who achieved 69% for mathematics. So the equation of the least squared line is y equals to 9.5 plus 0.91x. And remember, the x value represents mathematics and the y value physics. So in order for us to predict the physical sciences mark, we need to substitute x with 
69. And that is 72.29%. 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 write down the correlation coefficient between the mathematics and physical sciences marks for the data. So on my calculator, remember I have already entered the data points, so it will be shift 1. I choose regression again, so that's option 5. And I select R for correlation coefficient. And I press equal. That is 0 0.95. 1 1.5. Comment on the strength of the correlation between mathematics and physical science marks for the data. So correlation coefficient will always be between 1 and negative 1. 1 represents a perfectly positive relationship. And negative 1 is a perfect negative relationship. Now we can see this is 0 0.95, which is extremely close to 1. So we can say... The relationship between maths and physical science marks are very strong and positive. 1.6. What trend did the teacher observe between the results of the two subjects? The teacher can conclude that the higher the learner's maths marks, the higher the physical science marks will be.